guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Engineer Singo from CLNP Fiber Manufacturing. Last time we studied regarding rhombus quadrilateral. And as I mentioned before, uh, I will tackle regarding uh, trapezoidal uh, word problem today. Okay, so this is our uh, example word problem, guys, uh, involving trapezoidal or quadrilateral. Okay, sample number one Anna is planning to make a birthday card, okay, to give her mother a special day. Now, the figure of the card is shown below, as you can see here, guys. Okay, so it's a trapezoidal type. Now, if the card area is 250 square centimeter, then find the value of A and C. So, this one, guys, A and this one is C. Okay. Now, as you can see in this problem, the total area which is given. How much the total area of the card? 250 centimeter square. Okay. So, base, uh, using this value, total area of this card. Okay. Solution. Total area of this card is 250 square centimeter. Okay. Now, since the required in this problem is we need to solve first the value of A. So, by looking at this figure, we need to consider this one. This particular area. Okay. Half. Half of the card. In order to find the value of A, since it is a trapezoidal uh, form, okay. So, considering considering half of the card or one half of the card, We have, please let me draw again, considering the one half of the card, okay, this one will be a trapezoidal form. So, this is the A, this is C, and this one is how much? Given, which is 10 cm. Okay. And this the base, how much? One half of 20 centimeter. One half of the width of the card, which is 10 cm. Okay. Now we have already these dimensions. Okay. Since the area which of that card is to uh total area of the card is given. Now area of this trapezoid. is equal to one half a plus b times height okay so this 10 centimeter will be height okay this will be the a and this will be the b okay now since the total is given but we are considering only one half so we need to divide the total area. So substituting these values, 250 divided by 2 is equal to, right guys? So since we have considered the one half of this figure, so divided by 2 is equal to one half times how much is A, which is the required. Okay. A plus how much B? B is 10. Okay. Times H. What's the H? 10 also. Okay. 
So, to simplify this expression, 250 divided by 2 is how much, guys? 125. Okay. Is equal to how much? A plus 10 times 10 over 2. Right? Okay. We need to cross multiply this to this one area. 125 times 2. Okay. It's equal to A plus 10 times 10. Okay. Now, over 10. Cancel, cancel. So, how much this one now? Okay. So, let me calculate. 125 times 2 is equal to 250 divided by 10. 25. Okay. So, 25 is equal to A plus 10. So, transfer 10, the left side will be 25 minus 10 equal to A. So, how much the value of A? So, A is equal to 25 minus 10 is equal to 15. Right? 5 minus 10 is equal to 15 centimeter okay. so this is the answer for the value of a okay now we have already calculated the value of the al altitude this one or this this uh, height a as you can see in this figure guys now the next one next is b Solve for the value of C. Right, guys? This one. Okay. Solve for the value of C. Okay. Now, go, we go back to the figure. Since we already calculated the value of A, and we have this dimension, this one is this 10 cm. Now, to solve for C, we need to consider this one as a right triangle. Okay? This one, guys. So this is 90 degrees. Okay? So, the triangle will be... So, how much is this one, this base? One half of 20 centimeter. Okay. It will be 10 cm. This is 90 degrees. Okay. And how much is this one? This one. Um, A, A minus 10. Okay. A minus 10 is equal to this. Right? So, A... How much is A? We computed A is equal to 15. Okay, so 15, 15 minus 10, right? Because the value of A is 15 minus 10. So the remaining is this dimension. 15 minus 10 is equal to 5. Okay? Right? 5 cm. Hmm. We have this, 15, as you can see here, minus this one, this dimension. So, the remaining is 5 cm. Now, how to solve for C? As you can see, guys, 
At this triangle is a perfect right triangle because it's having 90 degrees here. So we can apply uh, what we have studied before uh, Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so using Pythagorean theorem. C is equal to what is the standard formula for Pythagorean? Guys, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Right? So this is now the value of C, which is the hypotenuse. This one is the altitude. And this B is the base. Okay? So since we have already these two values, we can substitute directly to this equation. Now, C squared is equal to how much the A altitude is 5. Okay. Plus, how much the base of this uh, triangle this is 10. Okay. Squared. Now, to simplify further, C squared is equal to 5 to the exponent 2 or 5 to the uh, squared is equal to 5 times 5 is 25. Correct? Uh, 25. Okay, next is plus 10 squared. How much? 10 times 10 is 100. Okay. So C squared is equal to 25 plus 100 is 125. Right? Now, square root. In order to find the value of C, we need to put the square root or radical sign. Cancel. So C, well, how much is square root of 125? Guys, square root of 125 is equal to 11 point 18. Okay, 11.18 centimeter. So this is the value of C. Second requirement for this particular problem, this one. So C is equal to 11.18. Right? Simple guys, we need to apply only the Pythagorean theorem to find the value of hypotenuse for this uh, trapezoid, this one. So, I hope you understand our uh, uh, simple word problem related for this uh, trapezoid called literal. And I'm hoping also that it will be helpful to those students who are studying quadrilaterals, especially trapezoidal. Okay, so again, um, thank you for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe as well so that you won't miss out our uh, future videos regarding um, uh, mathematics. Okay, again. So, have a nice day guys. Bye.